I'm Michelle and this is Mishmash. I look a little different today. I'm wearing glasses. I just got them. Um, I'm still getting used to them. I've worn glasses since I was three years old, but I've been wearing contacts for the last ten years. So I got some glasses because I want to try and give my eyes a rest from all the contacts. And uh, I don't know. They're kind of cool. <laughs> today I'm filming my underrated books readathon TBR. The books I'm going to read for this readathon. This readathon I just found out about. Um, I think that Ramblings of an Elf, I will link her channel below. I think she started it, or at least that's where I heard about it from. And I guess this readathon has been going on for a few years now, but this is my first year doing it. Um, so this readathon is the point of it is to read books that are underrated, and that's kind of open to interpretation. Um, that can mean books that you never hear about, that you never hear other people talking about or books that have a low number of ratings or reviews on Goodreads, or just books that you don't think are hyped up enough or talked about enough. So this is basically also just a what I am reading this week, <laughs> because the readathon goes from Saturday, this Saturday, the February 27th, to March 4th, next Friday. I'm probably not going to be able to read too much this week, so it's not going to be a crazy readathon for me. Um, but I just wanted to participate in a readathon this year, so I figured this would be a good one to start with. I'm only planning to read two books uh, for this readathon, so not anything crazy, but two books in one week is still pretty good for me, so let's see what I can do. The first book I'm planning to read, regardless of this readathon, but it fits, is Birdie by Tracy Lindbergh, and I talked about this in my Canada Reads video, which I will link to here, but this is a nomin nominated book for the Canada Reads, which means it's not that underhyped, but actually on good on Goodreads it had a very low number of ratings, only a few thousand or something. And I think that if it wins or if it gets pretty advanced in the Canada Reads competition, it will get more hyped up and people will be talking about it more. But I definitely know no one that has read this or have seen it on anyone's channels or anywhere else except for that competition. So so I'm reading this as a buddy, buddy read with Sarah from Tea Leaves and Dog Ears. I'll link her channel below as well. And we are planning to read this in March. So I'm going to probably just start it um, this weekend. And we wanted to read a book from the Canada Reads competition together. So I'm hopefully going to get through that. It's about just less than 300 pages. So I, I should definitely be able to read this this week. And I'm excited about it. It's about a woman, an Aboriginal woman, who goes on an adventure, and it's set in kind of the area that I live in Alberta, in Canada. So I think that will be really interesting as well. And it's supposed to be darkly comic, which I think, which I find really intriguing. So I'm excited to read this one. The second book I have on my TBR for this readathon is called *People of the Book* by Geraldine Brooks. I hauled this in a video in January. I bought this at a used bookstore. And I have read this book before, but it was at least four or five years ago. I remember really liking it, but I don't really remember much about it or why I liked it so much. And I've never heard anyone else talking about this book. The, the author wrote a book and she won the Pulitzer Prize for it. So obviously she is not underhyped, but this book seems to be under the radar. And this book is about, um, it's about a book. This ancient Jewish book that's an artifact, and this archaeologist um, is granted access to this book. As she discovers more about the history of the book, it flashes back to the stories of different people who have had this book over the generations, and it just paints a, such a vivid picture of each character, and it's, it's just super interesting. So I'm excited to read this one again and give it a proper rating and review. I'll definitely let you know if I still think it's as good as I did when I first read it. So those are actually all the books I'm going to be reading this week, and those are the books I'm planning to read for the TBR. If for some reason I happen to read both of those books, then I might go to the library and pick up another book that I've never heard of. Let me know if you are participating in the readathon, and let me know what you're going to be reading. Also, let me know if you've read either of these books. I doubt it, but if you have, definitely let me know. I barely read anything last week because I had a lot of personal stuff going on and that's kind of carrying into this week as well. So we'll see if I'm able to read much, but I think this weekend at least I should be able to. We're going to see The Revenant tonight because I feel like I should watch that one before <laughs> the Oscars. 
And other than that, that's pretty much my weekend. So let me know what you're doing this weekend too. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.